Hey everybody, Brett from Sardis Gaming here, back with another episode of our Gekakujo mod let's play. <clears throat> so, today we are going to begin our war with the Miyoshi clan. Uh, you guys pretty much unanimously agreed that we should try to secure our island as a whole before we uh, move on to fight anywhere else. So that will be our ultimate goal for uh, the next couple episodes at the very least. Uh, but the Miyoshi clan, again, is a very large clan, so we will not be conquering them outright. Um, we're basically just going to try to take these castles here, force them off the island, and then try to sue for peace somehow. And so, to that end, I have wandered around. I did a little bit more recruiting, so our army's up to 172 now. And uh, I fought like one little battle against some bandits and uh, I think a few of these guys leveled up but for the most part we still have a lot of villagers and so I figured we would attack this lord right here to uh, kick off the war but also he seemed like a pretty easy target to level up some of these guys against so that'll be what we try to do there um, also this episode I want to show you all three uh, sorry all three of our potential marriage options because I showed you uh, Lord Kira's daughter in the last episode, but not the other two. And so I'd like to do that, and then we can maybe do like a straw poll for which character we should marry, or possibly hold off and uh, marry somebody later of greater importance. So anyways, before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It's the best way to follow along with the series as it plays out, and the best way to help the channel grow. So let's go meet this guy head on here. And we will give him our name and then tell him that we are delivering our demands. Surrender or die. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody surrender in that case. Let's see. It looks like my lords uh, like that for the most part, except for Kuana, who disliked it slightly. All right, so we've got them vastly outnumbered here, but we do need to be careful. Obviously, the troop quality is not ideal right now. So we are going to be smart about this. Uh, let's see. Archers up here on the hill. Infantry right up there. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty nice map that we've got going here. Yeah, archers, how about you get right here so you're slightly elevated. And then they're going to basically hold the river bank. I wish we had more spearmen, but we'll have to do. Alright, here they come. I keep forgetting, I need to basically separate out the spearmen from the katana and nodachi wielding troops just so that I don't have like guys with only swords in my um, spear formations because obviously that's less than efficient. Let's see here. Where's my lance? There it is. Got an officer. Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ouch. Whew. Duck my way back through here. I'm gonna try to deal with the uh, guys wielding the arc buses first. Oh crap. I got stuck in the tree. Stuck in the tree. Okay. Run you over and stab you. Cool. <clears throat> good job. Good job. Uh, let's come about with the bow here and try to just like fire randomly into the crowd here. Oh, nice shot. Right in the face, too. Oh, I didn't get a single kill there. Who are you, and where do you think you're going? Oh, wow. The reach on this is not as good as I had hoped. Gotcha. Ooh, so he was just a villager? Okay. They don't seem to want to close with my spear line. That's kind of interesting. No! I thought he was going to unhorse me right there with that thing. Ooh, nice block. Yep, 
Yeah, I need to couch this thing because it's not very effective otherwise. Really? Seven damage with a headshot? He's got a pretty damn good helmet on then. Come on, archers, do your thing. My keyboard keeps moving, I don't know why. Okay. There's the Lord. Oh wow, he's got like a big mall or something. Okay, I got one of the gunners, that's good. Possibly, oh, I was going to say possibly the only gunner, but no. I think the Miyoshi are known for their gunners, so they actually have uh, Ashigaru gunners, where I only have samurai ones. So they can train gunners for cheaper than I can. Which is cool, I mean, that's their strength. Mine is uh, archery. Ah, crap. Come on, come on, come on, horse. Move, move, move. Ah, I see what's going on here. The arrows are getting stuck in the, f the trees. That's why we're not killing that many. I don't know why they're not interested in closing with our battle line, though. Come on. Okay. Now that we've dealt with that clipping plane, let's get back on the move here. Oh, that wasn't smart. Okay, here we go. Deal a little bit of damage from range here, or actually, not really. Oh, I got a kill. Why are they retreating? Hey, get in there. Well, that turned him around pretty quick. Okay. Now that they're starting to flee, we're going to pursue and... I got you. Let's get this guy... Actually, oops, I totally missed. I held that way too long. Yeah, that's not going to work. That'll work a little better. Oh, got another taker over here. My horse is slowing down quite a bit, though. Oh man, only 23 damage. And I totally missed. Whoa, I did not mean to switch right there. Whatever, it worked. I think there's something wrong with this mouse. I think the scroll, the scroll reel... Scroll wheel, excuse me, uh, activates on its own sometimes, which obviously isn't good. Um, I do have a new mouse, I just keep forgetting to plug it in. So, I will try to remember to do that, but yeah, I think sometimes it swaps weapons on me without me actually doing it. Uh, I could use some more cavalry right about now. There's like one guy left we have to kill. Oh, no, a couple. Gotcha. That was a close one. I thought for sure he was going to move out of my range. just leaves this guy. Cool. One wound. That wasn't too bad at all, though. He managed to escape, of course. We'll take whatever loot we can pick up here. We're getting pretty low on cash, though, so we got to keep an eye on that. Uh, declaration of war. Yep. Yep, yep. Can I catch him? Hmm. Um... Do I lose honor for this? Let's find out. They surrender, okay. I will take them prisoner. More importantly, we've got a lot of upgrades here to handle. So we've got some retainers. Do we want veteran retainers or mounted retainers? Let's, I was just talking about having cavalry, so let's do that. And what do we got here? How many marksmen do I have? Three and then four retainers. Let's go. Two marksmen, one retainer. Um, let's get you guys upgraded to train skirmishers. You guys upgraded to train spears. And 11 of you. Let's do six spearmen, five archers. 
and then we'll have to level up him and ourselves in the other screen. Okay, we got some armor. I wonder if that's better than what uh, our companion is currently wearing. Let's find out. We gotta level him up anyways. Let me see your gear. Yeah, that's awful. Okay, well, throw that on for now. I'm gonna get him some uh, Akuma armor, but that'll have to wait. And I guess just wear... Actually, no, these are better. Slightly. And sure, throw that helmet on. And these hand wraps. And we'll, we'll find you some better armor, I promise. Okay. Although I'd also like to replace his katana with maybe a uh, Tachi or a Nodachi. Just so he has a little bit better reach. And I might want to give him a Sashimono as well. Hmm. Not sure. I don't know where I would put it. I kind of like them having two swords. It looks cool and it's obviously more authentic that way. But at the same time, having him rep my banner would be pretty cool. And there's a few different ones as well. That's why I grabbed three. Oh, maybe not. As I recall, there's a couple different ones. Those all look the same, though. Okay, well, for now, we'll just leave it like that. At least he's got some slightly better armor on. And whoops, we forgot to level him up, which was our whole purpose for coming into this screen. Okay, so we're going to go Intelligence and... Definitely Iron Flesh, but also I think I'd like to give him a point into, that's a leader skill, so that's not going to help me in any way. Um, hmm. You know what? Scratch that. I'm going to put the point into Agility, and then we'll continue to level up Iron Flesh for now, but I'd like to get his Weapon Master skill up higher. And so... We'll continue to pump his agility until we can improve that. That way we can work on his pull arms and his two-handed skill. And uh, we'll work on his strength as well. But he's just going to be a warrior type for us, so we're not going to concern ourselves too much with anything other than maybe um, training. It would be nice for him to have so that these guys level up a little bit faster. For ourselves, I think we'll go... Ooh, we level up twice. Intelligence and strength. And I'll put a point into Power Strike, a point into Weapon Master, and finally a point into Tactics. And I'm going to continue to work on my two-handed skill, because that's going to be very important for Siege Battles. Now then, uh, I think we need to go find ourselves another fight. Or we could call up our Lords and start a Siege, but I don't know that we're ready for one with all these villagers. Like, we still have 90 villagers in our party. What do the uh, garrisons look like here? 252, that's actually fairly large. So I'm going to run through here. Hopefully we get out this way. We'll take a look at that garrison, and we're going to head to Matsuyuma. I wonder if maybe we should head south instead. I don't know. What do we got here? Yukita clan, huh? Why are you here? What are you guys doing? Huh, vassal of the Yukita clan, lord of Takahashi castle. Okay. He's already a fan of ours, that's good. Oh, he doesn't actually like us, he's just heard of us. Hmm. I wish to ask you something. What are you and your men doing? Huh, Anon. Who are you at war with? Uh, oh, they're at war with Miyoshi as well. That's awesome. Maybe we can form an alliance with these guys. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool indeed. Um, Alright, well, good to know him. And Lord Akana. Let's see. We'll just introduce ourselves, and that'll be it. Actually, I should probably ask them if they have anything that they need me to do. Um, okay. So just go collect his taxes for him. I can do that. And maybe I can catch you and see if you need anything done as well. 
But yeah, I might just head down to Kochi instead. Because I think we're gonna, need to get, we're gonna need to head there to uh, start a campaign. Unless I can find all the lords individually and to just tell them to follow me. Come on, man, catch him. Is he faster? The same speed. There we go. Anything for me? No, that was a waste of time. Okay, well, I'm gonna head to Maroto Castle and we'll take our first look at one of our potential wives. Okay. So, this is uh, Lord Yoshida's castle. And, oh, we need some food. See our really awesome looking Akuma retainers there. And then if we walk in here, we've got another retainer and Lady Hisa. So there's Lady Hisa, again, uh, the daughter of Lord Yoshida. So she is one potential option. And actually, let's head to Moroto and see if we can't recruit something. Oh, look, there's one of our lords right there. Uh, we can't recruit from them. Okay. We'll tell him to follow us. See what he's up to. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you something. What are you and your men doing? Uh, somebody's going to beat you to that. So I have a better job for you. Follow me. And that'll be it. So I'm going to hit these spots here. We'll try to find the other lords as we go because I'm going to swing by their castles anyways and they should be defending them currently. So we should be able to find everybody just by doing what we're already doing. Which should work out. That's really cool that we have other factions at war with these guys though. I guess because they are one of the bigger factions they're a larger target perhaps. But yeah, this is being looted currently. My first target for a siege is going to be that village there. Wow, nobody will let me recruit. But yeah, we're going to go after this one because that's the closest to our lands. It'll be the easiest to defend. And uh, the way I'm going to distribute lands in this game is basically I'm going to give every lord a castle and a adjacent village. So like these, for example. And they seem to all be paired up like that. For the most part so every castle has like an adjoining village and then i'm going to keep every town for myself i think and possibly the surrounding villages like see every town has like usually three villages like this here so i'll be keeping those for myself and i'll just give these little groups to the lords there huh not even in my own village okay <clears throat> so that's the plan and somebody just ran right by me. Hopefully it wasn't one of the lords. So this is Lord Kira. Lord Kira's castle. And we've already met his daughter, but I'll show you guys once again just so we have a decent point of reference. Lady Ayumi is our second potential option. And again, that is Lord Kira's daughter. Kira um, of Nakamura Castle. And then I'll show you guys the final option here. I don't know where Lord Kira is currently. Uh, we need to swing back by Kochi, though, and grab some food. So this is Lord Kuwana, who didn't like us going to war. And there is his daughter, Lady Na. So those are our options. And... I'm actually just going to head to Matsuyuma rather than going all the way back to Kochi. I'll see if anybody's up here. And then, if not, we'll just head to Kawano with what we have. I think it'll be enough. We've got almost 200 here. And then, uh, did we lose our lord? We might have lost the uh, guy accompanying us. He should be with us still. Oh, no, he's there. He's just kind of tailing behind at a good distance. Oh, no. Where is that? Oh, right here. Okay, perfect. We're headed there anyways. Head to Toon. We'll do some recruiting. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Okay, well, we'll get some food. Assuming I can afford any. I'm actually very, very broke. It's been a long time since we've gotten a uh, payment. Like a surprisingly long time. So, rice is cheap. Let's buy rice, and then we'll buy some fish. 
Yikes. Well, hopefully that's enough because that's really all I can afford. And then we're going to head out this way and prevent them from... Oh. Perfect. We're going to chase this guy down. There's our weekly budget. Okay, we're not broke anymore. 16,000 in profits. Perfect. I was, I was going to say, it's been a really long time since we've gotten paid. So there's our payment and boy, that could not have come at a better time. He's going to unfortunately outrun us. Uh, I'm going to pursue him for a while though. Oh, he's going across there? That's That sucks. I don't like that they can do that. I thought we were going to corner him. That's why I went wide. But no, he just like tucked and run across the uh, water there. Hmm. I'm just concerned because the garrisons on these aren't very big. Actually, that one's not too bad. He wouldn't be able to siege that, but like the garrison down here is less than 100, so it makes me a bit nervous that, you know, one enemy lord could come back here and potentially snipe one of these if I'm not careful. So I've got to keep an eye on that. But yeah, we'll grab some troops here if it'll allow me to no, interesting. Well, we'll head to Kawano and possibly begin a siege. Especially if there's nobody around to uh, bug us. Enemy patrols spotted over here? Okay. Wow, how did he get past us? Like, he would have had to ride right past us like that. Whatever, we'll catch him. I've got you. Come on, we got him, we got him, we got him. No, we totally don't. He's faster than us, so he's going to outpace us. Uh, oh, we got him, okay. He's obviously heard of us before. We need to take him out and uh, crush his army, send him running. If we do defeat him, I might let him go because I want to start building up relations with other lords so that we can possibly recruit them because we are going to get some land here and again I don't want to hold all these little individual castles myself so I would prefer to get some land to distribute and obviously if I can build some relations with people um, we'll have you know people coming to us for land okay so let's get set up and there seems to be some sort of big ravine in the middle here so I'm going to put the archers up on the high ground here and the infantry right there. So when they crest that hill, they'll walk right into our troops. Archers set up right about there. And the amount of retainers is going to stick with me, I guess. He'll be like my personal guard for now. Let's go set those spears up. I should have put her with the uh, archers. I keep forgetting that she's armed with a bow and not much else. She does have a ninjato, like the other uh, archers do, but it's obviously not the most ideal melee weapon. Let's see, who can I snipe? Oh, I got a skirmisher. I was hoping to nail one of the... Uh... Wow, that was terrible. I was hoping to nail one of the uh, Arcbus users. Ooh, that was a bad idea. He had a longer weapon than I did. Get out of here with that. Come, mounted retainer, flee. Let's see, you look important, so... Have a lance in the back. Damn it, I went a little bit too wide. That didn't hit. Oh, well, my mana retainer got knocked out, but that's not a big deal. At least he didn't die. Okay. Knock you out. And you... Oh, I just kind of ran into you. Ouch. Get that arrow out. No, okay. Take it down. Got you... Move, move, move. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You can't stand still. Wow. He blocked that with his bow out? That's pretty interesting. Why do they all, like, uh... 
chase me. That's kind of interesting. I got you. Okay, so their mana retainer is down. Um, trying to knock these guys out. So that they don't kill my villagers and stuff. Damn it. Wow, that was pathetic. Oh, that wasn't, though. Got him in the shoulder. It wasn't enough to kill him, though. I wish you could fire that way. It's always got to be across your body, though. Or actually, in front of your body, sorry, not across. Okay, let's drop one of these guys. I guess I'll just keep running across here and try to take these guys out. Don't you do it! Wow. Ouch. That went like through two guys. Oh well. I'm gonna retreat for a little bit here because our horse is getting a little bit slow. Our line seems to be holding fairly well though. Let's see. Infantry. Form four ranks. I want you to stand closer. Oh, way too high. That totally hit him. I saw it go right through his body. Ouch. Yeah, my horse is like nearly dead here. Um, I need to make sure this guy doesn't shoot me. Damn, how did I miss that? Oh well. Whoops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna dismount here. Hey, army, back me up here. Or not. Yeah, just let them kill your lord. Okay, well, that sucked. Um, we should be able to win this fairly easily, though. We've got reinforcements to draw on still, although they, they still have cavalry, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, this guy just got stabbed in the back. They've managed to deal with everybody else, and now they're going to charge, it looks like. Well done, well done. Yeah, so they're going to charge. I don't know if the archers will. I hope that they do. But these guys should be able to handle it. The villagers actually aren't too bad when you get up close and personal like this because they have pretty solid short range weapons. They just can't deal with cavalry at all. Or uh, archers obviously. So if you send them in, if you get them in close, they can actually be pretty effective. Because they have like, well he's got a arc bus. I don't know how he got one of those. But if you look at our villagers, they've got like clubs and stuff. And so up close, they can actually like break through blocks and be pretty effective. But yeah, against like formations and stuff, they don't tend to do as well. Come on guys, let's do this. Alright, so there's the victory. Let's go ahead and tab out here. And 7 killed, 19 wounded. That's actually not bad considering how many uh, we killed of theirs. Of course, their lord manages to escape. We got a bunch of peasants that we don't need. I will capture you guys though. And we got lots of upgrades once again. I should have looked at who died. Or, you know, which groups died more because uh, I would you know, distribute them to fill the losses. Retainers or marksmen? Hmm. This time I think we'll go two and one since we did the opposite last time, I believe. Give me a second mounted retainer. And then you guys do some veteran retainers as well. So right there is good. Let's upgrade you. Wow, you guys are all ready to move up. And six veteran spearmen, okay. Oh, we're out of money, whoops. It's all in the treasury, that's right. So we just need to go collect it. And I guess that'll do for now. 
We can take some of this stuff that we don't really need. But we can sell it, obviously. And uh, I think that will do it for today's episode. I'm going to go to the treasury, collect some of the money that was deposited there, and we'll finish upgrading our party. I'd also like to get uh, our companion some better gear. I'd like to get him some real samurai armor that's actually of our faction. And I'd like to get her some slightly better armor as well because she's just wearing this like basic armor that we happen to have in our inventory. Actually, it's not bad, but it is battered. So if we could find her something that isn't battered, that would be ideal. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Gekakujo Ma with you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to be super excited that we're finally starting this war off in earnest. Uh, we didn't get to start our siege today, but that's going to be our primary goal in the next episode is to besiege this and take it for ourselves and also to you know defend our kingdom against the uh, Miyoshi onslaught. But it's good to know that we have other factions like the Yukita here who are at war with them as well and we could you know maybe try to form some sort of alliance there. Um, also don't forget to let me know what you guys think regarding the three uh, lords daughters and who we should potentially look at marrying or if you guys think it might be a better idea to possibly use that marriage to build an alliance for example with these guys anywho once again thank you for watching i had a great time playing some gekikujo with you guys and i look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode